Now I live and work in the Hawke's Bay region of the North Island in New Zealand. Stunningly beautiful area, but on February the 3rd, 1931, the region was hit by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake at a depth of just 14 kilometers, which caused widespread destruction and a loss of life numbering 256 souls. 162 of those people died during the earthquake and in subsequent fires in the city of Napier. In the years since the earthquake, the city was rebuilt in the style of the time, which was Art Deco. So the city of Napier is just chock full of Art Deco buildings. And we have an annual Art Deco festival, whereby people from all over the world travel to our little city, all dressed up in their finest deco outfits and just have a bit of a party. And it's a fantastic event, an absolutely amazing event to photograph. I've done it many, many times before. I will be doing it again in two weeks time because it's my weekend on and we've got the Art Deco Festival coming up. So I'll be out there doing my thing. Everybody's photographed the buildings many times before. I've never actually seen these Art Deco buildings photographed the way I'm gonna photograph them today, which is of course, I know, I know, the newly modified infrared Fujifilm X-Pro2. So I'm gonna get on the push bike, take the camera out, and we'll just ride around some of the uh, some of the more famous Art Deco landmarks in the city, get a few photographs, take it on for the ride, and just show you a little bit of what our beautiful city looks like in infrared. Oh, cannot wait.
Another great little experiment that was. Now I shot everything at ISO 200 between F8 and F11. Because with the converted sensor, you lose two to three stops of light. I was averaging speeds in good light, 180th, and then at the lower end, 150th, which is fine. Handheld, no issues whatsoever. But that is something to be aware of if you are shooting in low light. Bump up your ISO, or better still, <laughs> stick it on a tripod, which I don't really want to do. But there is going to be times when it's going to have to go on a tripod. End of. But other than that, I'm an absolute black and white fan. Always have been, always will be. And this, the absolute contrast I'm getting out of this modified camera now is, oh, it is second to none. I've always loved shooting black and white, but uh, even more so now with this. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, maybe you'll enjoy this.